Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Mines Undergraduate Research Fellowship Virtual Symposium. My name is Noah Fields, and over the past two semesters, I have been working with various members of the Computer Science Department, including Professors Bo Wu and Jedediah McClurg, on a new system for incremental graph computation known as InkMind. Now, I'm sure many of you are wondering, what is incremental graph computation and why is it important? Well, let's start by imagining a shape made out of nothing but circles and lines like this. Each of these circles is a vertex, and each line is an edge. Together, they form a graph. There are many types of graph computation, but this project focuses on pattern matching, also known as graph mining. Here, we have a simple query graph and a larger and more complicated data graph. Graph mining is when you find all subgraphs of the data graph which are isomorphic to the query graph. Or, put simply, all smaller groups of vertices and edges in the data graph that, taken together, make the same shape as the query graph. Here, the query graph is a triangle, meaning it has three vertices and each of them are collect connected by edges. Here, we can see another triangle in the data graph and therefore, this is one instance of a triangle in the data graph. This seems at first glance to not be very useful, but graph computation is important for many fields, ranging from detecting bank fraud to analyzing cancer cells. The subgraph isomorphism problem is NP-complete, which in short means that it can take a long time to solve, even with very powerful computers. The result is that, if you just try and count every shape in a graph from scratch over and over every time the graph changes, the graph is probably going to change faster than you can keep up, even if you're using a supercomputer. A good example of this would be large social media sites like Facebook or Twitter, where there are millions of users writing posts, retweeting, liking other people's posts, and so on every day. So any results of an attempted graph of all of Twitter is likely going to be come obsolete very quickly. The solution is to do incremental graph mining, so that instead of having to redo the entire graph from scratch, also known as batch mining, you can just find the changes, often referred to as delta G, and update your count of instances of your query graph. Or, in other words, how does the number of your shape change as we go from here to here? This is a very difficult problem, and research is really just beginning, but InkMine is a huge step forward. InkMine borrows some ideas from a complex field known as program synthesis for discovering the correct algorithm to use, but it is mostly an algorithmic solution. Basically, we want to look at as few vertices and edges as possible when new edges arrive in the delta G, because looking at a bunch of edges to find instances that haven't actually changed at all wastes time in the best case, and in a worst case, means we count triangles that were already there, and our count is now off. InkMine looks for a specific pattern that you give it, in this case triangles, and always starts with new edges, like this red one, when searching for a new instance. The key is that every edge gets a number associated with it, known as the index, and if the algorithm finds another new edge that has a lower index, it stops searching. For instance, in either this triangle or this triangle, the algorithm will begin by finding the new edge and then find the other two already existing edges to complete the triangle in either order. However, in this case, there are two new edges. Now, let us begin by assuming this edge has a lower index than this edge. The algorithm will run twice. First, it will find this edge here, followed by either this pre-existing edge or this new edge. However, upon finding the new edge, either second or third, it will find that this edge has a lower index than this edge. And so, the search will terminate. It will not find a new triangle, it will be done. Meanwhile, the algorithm will run again, but this time begin by finding this edge. Again, it may find this pre-existing edge or this new edge next, but when it does find this new edge, it will find that because 
this edge's index is lower than this edge's index, this one is not overwritten, and so the search may continue. Therefore, it will complete the search, find all three edges, and update the triangle count. This is important because it reduces the amount of searching that we have to do by terminating some searches early, which saves an enormous amount of time, especially on larger shapes. And it also means we only find each shape once instead of several times, because then our count would be off. Ink mine is very fast. It's an extension of graph zero, which is for batch mining instead of incremental mining. There are only a handful of systems like Inkmine out there, and we blow them all out of the water in terms of speed. We can find shapes of up to seven vertices on very large graphs like Twitter, which may not sound like a large number of vertices, but it is a big leap forward compared to most other programs out there. It's a really awesome project that has the potential to revolutionize incremental graph mining, and so I am very glad to have been part of this project.